We begin in the United States where there are new details tonight about Monday's FBI raid on Donald Trump's estate in Florida. U.S. media is reporting agents may have been looking for documents related to nuclear weapons. So let's get right to Katie Simpson in Washington. Katie, it sounds very alarming, but can you take us through the details tonight? Now, this is according to the Washington Post. FBI agents searched former President Donald Trump's Florida home for classified documents relating to nuclear weapons. The Post is citing people familiar with the investigation, and agents were reportedly looking for other documents as well, but there are no specifics being reported on that just yet. It remains unclear if the documents reported by the Post were actually seized during that search. Attorney General Merrick Garland would not offer any clarity when he spoke for the first time since Monday's search. He announced that the Department of Justice is seeking to unseal the search warrant in this case since Donald Trump already confirmed it happened and given the intense public interest. I personally approve the decision to seek a search warrant in this matter. The department does not take such a decision lightly. Donald Trump has to decide by Friday afternoon whether he's going to fight that order, and it could take some time, a few days, before the public actually gets to see what is in that document, if it happens. Now, in the wake of what's happened this week, there has been a surge in violent rhetoric online, threats directed at the Department of Justice, the Attorney General, and members of the FBI. In Ohio, investigators are looking for possible links between an attack on an FBI field office in Cincinnati that that ended in a deadly shootout with police. The suspect was heavily armed, according to authorities, and actually tried to shoot his way into the office with a nail gun. He fled and was surrounded by officers in a cornfield. According to police, he shot at officers. They returned fire, and the suspect is now dead. Multiple news agencies are reporting the suspect in that case was at the Capitol on January 6th and that his social media accounts show him repeating the lie the election was stolen and engaging with some of Trump's most outspoken supporters, conspiracy theorist and representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, for example. This is going to be an incident that is discussed and examined for some time for some time to see if what the direct links could be and whether there is an impact from the lie the 2020 election was stolen. Adrian. All right, so much there. Katie Simpson in Washington. Thank you, Katie. Thanks.